loves and welcome back to Love All Beauty. I know what you're thinking, why on earth does she have two different eyeshadow looks going on? Well, I thought for today's video I would go over some different tips and tricks that I've learned for creating those really nice flawless eyeshadow looks. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you do that. You can hit the notification bell. That way you're notified every time that I upload a video. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. If you are interested in learning how I got these different eyeshadow looks, then just keep watching. Let's get right into it. So one of the first things I learned with eyeshadow application is to really kind of help the eyeshadows go on smoother to give yourself a nice blank canvas to work with is using either an eyeshadow primer, eyeshadow base, a concealer, something like that on your eyelids. Just kind of cancel out any other colors that may be on there, any um, you know blemishes or flaws or anything like that. Uh, I mean, if you're pale like me, you can really see a lot of my veins. I mean, it just looks you know red closer to the the lash line and that kind of thing. So if I'm wanting to give my eyeshadows something to stick to, applying an eyeshadow base is kind of the best way to do that. Now there are specific eyeshadow primers and bases that you can buy. Uh, there's one like this, this is from Hard Candy. It's just called Eyeshadow Primer. And I believe this one is just kind of slightly tinted. You can see right there. And it's kind of creamy. It feels almost silicone-y in a way. So almost just like a primer that you would put on your skin. And it looks like it just kind of blends out into nothingness, but I can feel that there's something there. Honestly, most of the time for me, I'm just using a concealer, something that I would, you know, be using every day anyways. It's just easier and more convenient for me. I have the NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer, just a pot concealer, easy to apply using a brush, your fingers, a sponge, whatever your preference is. I mean, there's, there's lots of eyeshadow bases that are at the drugstore and that are at, you know, places like Ulta. Sephora, uh, MAC has one that's kind of a cult classic. It's their MAC paint pots. And you can get them in a rainbow of colors, you know, even from like, you know, white to uh, skin tone colors. You can even get the darker, deeper bases uh, that will kind of really help play up those darker shadows that you might be using. Um, but like I said, I just, mostly I'm just using my concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little fluffy brush here and just kind of dunk into that concealer. And sometimes I tap in the concealer. Other times I just kind of, you know, rub it around. I tend to have dry eyelids and I don't really know what causes that. I try to moisturize them at nighttime. I usually don't do, th do that during the day though just because I don't want to have my eyeshadows and my eyeliners and mascaras and everything just be slipping around on there. Perfect. So now we've got that primed and ready to go. My next little tip and trick for you guys, honestly, is using shadow tapes. If you've never used eyeshadow tapes before and you really have no idea what they're about, why would I need to use those? You don't need to use them, of course. But I find that if you're really wanting to work on your sharp lines as far as blending that eyeshadow nice and sharp at a really good angle, even for applying eyeliner, these can really help kind of guide you to get those nice straight lines. These are from e.l.f. It contains 40 strips, but they are quite long. So really, I say 80 because I cut them in half, but you could even almost cut them into thirds just because the space from the corner of our eye to our eyebrow is not typically that long. So you could really stretch these quite far, and I think they're only about 
three dollars a pack or so so I've had these for quite a while now and I still have a, a lot more left I tend to apply them going up towards the end of my my brow but you could widen the angle out and just have it be at a little bit of a, a wider angle I mean really that's the beauty of using these is that you can kind of almost manipulate your eye shape uh, by doing this kind of give yourself that like really intense cat eye look Another thing for me is I, I used to just always apply my base makeup before my eyes and I have found now that I'm working more with like shimmer shadows or darker pigmentation eyeshadows, you can get quite a bit of fallout on your face and while you can just kind of brush it away with something, sometimes you have the issue where it will get stuck on your base makeup and then you've got like a streak of black or dark brown or like glitter everywhere so i just kind of have defaulted to when i'm when i know i'm doing a more intense look like that to use eyeshadow tapes and wait until after to do my base makeup and i find that's really easy another thing to keep in mind is if you're really not good with picking shades of eyeshadow to, to kind of go together, like what goes together, I don't really know, I don't know what I'm doing, that kind of thing. There are so many eyeshadow palettes out there now, drugstore and high-end, that offer a color scheme for you. So basically that they're kind of all in the color, same color family, but they're offering different formulations of these colors. So shimmers, metallics, mattes, satins, that kind of thing. I've talked about these little mini bite-sized palettes before, but this is a really good way to get into trying out color schemed eyeshadow. If you're like me and you're kind of type A and you like things to be, you know, matchy matchy, this is a good way to do this. This is the shade Rose Water and this is the shade Pumpkin Pie. So we'll talk about Pumpkin Pie here. So this is all warm toned browns, right? But what's nice is that it comes with a lighter matte shade, like for transition, it comes with a darker matte shade for um, more of like an all over shade look and then it also comes with two metallics here now you can mix and match those kind of put them on the inner corner to just add that little pop of glimmer and shimmer what which is really nice these are three dollars at the drugstore and you're not really going to find a better formulation these are com very comparable i think to the higher end brands this is the urban decay uh, naked heat palette and it goes from of course like the lighter shades all the way to the darker there's matte there's satin there's shimmer not really any glitter but like more metallic -y type shades that you can find also don't be afraid to try a different type of eyeshadow formulation there are cream eyeshadows out there on the market that are really nice to work with especially if you're like me like I said I have a drier uh, eyelid so using a creamier eyeshadow for me is just like a little bit more hydrating and you know I don't notice you know any of the dryness or flakiness or anything like that and most of the time these dry down so it's not always going to be like that wet creamy effect but once you've applied it and blended it it'll dry down for you so you'd have to work with them rather quickly these are the smashbox always on cream shadows i've been using these for the last couple of months i have worked with the grayish which is like a cool toned brown and then there is the sepia which is a warmer toned brown you can use these as liners you can use them all over really easy to get a nice clean smoky look when using a cream shadow like this and also don't be afraid to work with the glitters i know a lot of times that those really overwhelm people and it doesn't have to be like hunky chunky glitter right uh yes you can have fallout with that but what i have found is you know if i'm not wanting to use a powdered eyeshadow glitter there are a lot of glitters on the market that are liquid glitters and these are super easy to work with because you're not really getting the fallout 
They come on these little doe foot applicators, um, just like your concealer would come in. And they're just super nice and shimmery, just a really good way to add that pop of color to your lid, that little something, you know, that gives you that nice shine. Lots of different formulations. This is from Koki Professionals. And this is Natasha Denona. Again, a doe foot applicator. Something like that. This is a really pretty, like, molten bronzy gold shade. You can see just definitely a lot of reflect in that. I'm getting stuff all over my desk. <laughs> Yeah, my hand is completely covered in glitter. Elf also has quite a few of these little guys. They're about $5, come in a whole variety of shades. There are brands too that also have non-glittery metallic shades. This blue is super pretty. Look at that. Gosh, love it. That shade is called Ocean Eyes, how pretty. I literally have glitter all over my hand though now. I'm like a kid. Ay, 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 ay. Let's go ahead and just get started on creating a few looks. So I have my eyeshadow tapes and I've already primed, right? Let's go ahead and start with this Always On Shadow from Smashbox in the shade Grage. Just gonna put a little bit like that. I think I'm just gonna grab this flat brush here and just apply it to there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. we got going on so far just gonna keep applying I like using this type of brush because it's easy to get kind of those clean lines I'm gonna grab a smaller blender and get some of that color on there. I think I'm going to use this Urban Decay palette called Naked Heat and the shade, ch excuse me, Chaser. to do a little bit of a cut crease. So a cut crease is basically taking, after you've blended a shadow, you're taking another brush, let's use something like this little guy, and you're taking your concealer and you're cutting out a little portion of that eyeshadow that you just laid down, which sounds weird, right? Like, why are you doing that? But I, I swear it'll, it'll all make sense. Now we're gonna go ahead and add 
a shimmer to it. So, this is Flirty Birdie by e.l.f. And I'm going to take off this. And you can see I got a nice sharp line. Now let's go ahead and work on the other eye. I think for this one I'm going to do an, a halo eye. So I'll show you what that entails. Let's do the Urban Decay Naked Heat. All right, so the idea of a halo eye is applying your shadow to the inner corner and the outer corner, leaving the center kind of bare, and then you would apply a shimmer shadow to that very center. Let's go ahead and start out with the shade Sauced. Once I've applied these on, on the inner and outer corner, I'm going to connect the two just up here at the crease. Just blending a little bit into there, but still leaving that center open. I'm going to deepen up these shades a little bit with the shades Cayenne. So to really emphasize that middle, I'm actually going to use my concealer brush again, this flat brush here. So then I'm wanting to apply something with a really pretty pop. My Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Palette. And I think I'm gonna go in with this really pretty metallic shade. So we've got the red on there, but then over top, I'm going to apply a little bit of this kind of bronzy shade. I'm gonna take it a step farther and I'm gonna add in some of this shade. It's kind of like a shift gold type of shade. Okay, so now that we've applied the center, I'm going to again go in with just a smaller blender. Go in with that shade Cayenne and really pack it in on those edges to kind of complete the look. So this is more of a kind of midway cut crease and then we have the halo eye on this eye. I'm going to go ahead and take off the eyeshadow tape on that side. And you can see we got a really nice line going on. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my face makeup and then I'll be right back to finish everything up. We are back. I finished the rest of my face up. I did do some eyeliner um, on this eye. I just used a chocolate brown liner from Koki Cosmetics and did what I was kind of talking about. I just used a smaller brush like this. I applied some of the pencil and then I just used this brush 
to kind of help smoke it out a little bit. So I think that turned out really good. And then on this side, I just used a liquid liner and I just used the line of shadow to um, kind of guide where I put it. Oh, I know it kind of looks crazy with everything done. I have two different eyes, but I just really hope that this helped you guys out. I know there's a lot about makeup and putting on makeup that can be very overwhelming. And, you know, I think there are a lot of videos out there on YouTube that just make assumptions that you're some sort of professional and you already know what you're doing. So if I can show you guys some tips and tricks that can help make your life a little bit easier, then I'm really happy to do that. I mean, I know that I am not a makeup artist or anything like that. I'm just somebody who loves makeup myself. And I've learned over the years kind of what works best for me, different application pro processes. I've watched so many YouTube videos, scrolled many Instagram pictures, and kind of trialed a bunch of different ways of, of doing things and found what works for my face. I think that's the most important thing, to just to be able to try out certain tips and tricks from other people and find out what works for your face. You know, if you're not an eyeliner person, don't wear eyeliner. If you're not really an eyeshadow person, you don't have to wear eyeshadow. That's the beauty of makeup. It can be anything you want it to be. Thank you guys so much for watching and look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.